Hi, I'm Mike Lee with Team Horizon, and this is a Team Tech Tip. In this Team Tech Tip video, we're going to show you how to program and set up a model using dual elevator control, one servo for each elevator half. In this case, we're going to program it using the Spectrum DX9 transmitter. In the DX9, the use of dual elevator control is already built into the pre-programmed misses, and you need only to activate it to make it work. So let's get you going on the dual elevator control. Before we do, take note of this. Most sport models use a single elevator servo to control the entire elevator surface. But as the type of models move toward having more precise control for the pilot, the use of dual elevators becomes more common. This is especially true with precision aerobatic aircraft and 3D aircraft. Many scale models also use this feature as well. Plus the feature offers a redundant elevator system by having two servos instead of just one. We begin the programming by selecting the proper model type. So from the main screen, to press the scroll switch once. It gets into the function list. Now scroll all the way to the bottom, almost the bottom, and you'll see system setup. Depress the scroll switch once. You're now being asked if you want to disable the RF section. The answer is yes, and depress the scroll switch once. Now go to the model type. Scroll down to model type, depress the scroll switch, and there you see highlighted the airplane. That is correct. Depress the scroll switch once. Data will be reset. Of course, that's what we want to do because this is a new aircraft, I hope. And so we depress yes. Now let's go to the aircraft type. Scroll down there, depress the scroll switch. And here you see the wing setup. The wing has got one servo in the middle with two ailerons. The tail is normal. You want to take the cursor from off where it says list up there and highlight tail. Depress the scroll switch once and now it lights up so now you need to scroll through until you get to the dual elevator setup right there. Depress the scroll switch. It is now selected. Go back on up to list and depress the switch. Go back to the main screen. Actually we're going to shortcut that a little bit. Let's go on over to our assignment channel assignment down in the system setup. Once you get to the channel assignment, depress the scroll switch once. Here you see this, the servo assignment from the receiver. Channel 1 is throttle, channel 2 is aileron, channel 3 is the right elevator. Now in my case, the default on my 9 channel receiver puts the left elevator on channel 9. For me that's correct, that's what I want. Let's pay attention to that because we might have to use that in just a few minutes. If you're satisfied with that, leave it the way it is. If you're not satisfied and wish to go to another channel, you may do so just by scrolling through it. In this case, you may want to assign the left elevator to auxiliary one. You can depress the, the switch here and you'll see as it scrolls through, left elevator. If I were to depress at this point in time, it will switch from channel 9 to channel 6. But I don't want to do that, so I'm going to go right on back to auxiliary 1, depress the switch, and now I'm going to bug on out by going back on up to the list, depress the switch, and now I'm going to go on over to my monitor. And I believe monitor is in the other screen, so let's go on over there. Go back one, And let's go to the bottom of the function list screen. There's the monitor there at the bottom. And now you can see left elevator half is there, right elevator half is there, and you see they're moving. They're both moving. But let's take a look at something else to prove that we're moving the right way. At this point, the elevator servos are active, but we need to make sure that they work together and not opposite. In our case, they are working opposite. No bueno. So what we need to do is go into the function list of our DX9, go to the servo setup, go to servo reversing, highlight that, and go in my case to channel 9, which is the left elevator half, and reverse it. 
Now they work in unison, just exactly the way we want them to do it. That's all there is to it. You're all set up on your DX9 and dual elevator control. You now have your dual elevators set up on your aircraft, and from here you can start setting up the rest of your aircraft. Of course, you have to pay attention to the trim on the linkages and make sure everything is matching in order to get proper elevator response. I hope that this Team Tech Tip has been of assistance to you in setting up your aircraft. Stay tuned for more Team Tech Tips in the near future. I'm Mike Lee with Team Horizon, and you just got a Team Tech Tip. Thanks a lot.